I've got some breaking news. It's another censorship battle, probably our biggest one ever. I need your help to save free speech in Canada. The Toronto police are officially investigating Rebel News for running these ads by local community activists on our Rebel News billboard truck. The ads were created by a group called Canadians Opposed to the Occupation of Our Streets and Campuses. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it tells you everything. They're anonymous because they know they'd face retaliation for speaking out. That's how bad things are these days. The ads just show actual footage of what the pro-Hamas gangs have done to Toronto, including committing real crimes ignored by the police and politicians. In the case of this particular ad, the images included pro-Hamas gangs shutting down the streets in downtown Toronto. Here's the official police announcement declaring those ads Islamophobic and suggesting that a hate crime has been committed, a crime. The Toronto police don't think the pro-Hamas street gangs themselves are committing hate crimes. They think the ad we ran on our truck is a hate crime. In Trudeau's Canada, you're allowed to support terrorism. You're not allowed to criticize terrorism. That sounds more like 1984 than 2024. Here, let me give you some more background, and then I'll tell you how you can help us fight back at a special website we've set up called savethetruck.com. But it's really about more than just a truck. It's about cancel culture and the weaponization of hate speech laws, and two-tier policing. I've hired a lawyer, and we're obviously going to fight, because this is still Canada, not Gaza. We still have free speech here, for now. It's actually pretty serious. If convicted under the law for hate speech, I could be jailed for up to two years just for running that ad. And don't think they won't try. Our Rebel News reporters have been arrested by Toronto police several times just for asking Hamas supporters questions. The police hate us because we're not silent and obedient, which is what they've told the Jewish community to be. The police chief isn't dumb. He's doing what his political bosses want. Here's Toronto's mayor denouncing the truck. No surprise, she's a pro-Hamas NDP mayor, an extremist who refused to attend key Jewish community events this year. It goes much higher than the mayor, though. Here's a tweet by a pro-Hamas Trudeau member of parliament who wrote, there needs to be an investigation and there needs to be justice. <laughs> Can you imagine that same member of parliament hosted a Holocaust denier on Parliament Hill, but she wants us prosecuted for hate speech? Other Trudeau supporters joined in, too, including Trudeau's personal friend, Mohamed Faki. He owns a chain of restaurants called Paramount Foods, and he notoriously said he doesn't want Jews as customers. This is the guy calling for a hate speech investigation? He's even put a $25,000 bounty on my head. Easy, Mohamed. You're not in Lebanon anymore. But the Toronto police are a full-on DEI police force. They're woke. Six months ago, Trudeau had a highly irregular meeting with Toronto's police chief, Myron Demkew. Demkew's office refuses to release any notes from that meeting, but it's pretty clear since that meeting, the police have not arrested pro-Hamas street gangs in the city because they're Trudeau's political base. Oh, by the way, there are other billboard trucks driving around Toronto too. Here's one with pro-Hamas and anti-Semitic ads on them. Police are fine with those. Only people who say things that criticize Trudeau or his Hamas allies get investigated by police. Trudeau truly is turning Canada into a banana republic, or Gaza, if he could. I think I know why people feel so desperate that they're taking out anonymous ads on our truck. They feel completely abandoned and ignored by the institutions they used to rely on. They want to speak out because no one is speaking for them. I know the feeling. 
the reason we bought the truck in the first place is because all the truck companies we used to work with, we used to rent the trucks. They told us they're too scared to criticize Hamas because they're worried their trucks will be attacked and their drivers could be injured. Police should be embarrassed that they're investigating the messenger instead of understanding the message. Just a few weeks ago, masked Hamas gunmen shot at a Jewish girls' school in Toronto. The Hamas encampment at the University of Toronto has thugs checking if students are Jews or not before letting them pass. There was an insane eight-hour anti-Semitic hate march outside a Thornhill synagogue. Hamas supporters walk through Jewish residential neighborhoods in North Toronto, shrieking at Jews in their homes. This happens every day. The police just stand there and do nothing. Sometimes they actually bring the Hamas gangs coffee, like this, when they blocked a road into a Jewish residential neighborhood. We've used our billboard truck to talk about these issues for months including our campaign to deport foreign nationals who support Hamas. We also have a campaign against Trudeau's crazy plan to bring thousands of Gaza refugees to Canada. In the case today, we were running the ads for another group of loyal Canadian citizens who felt totally abandoned by the police and politicians. Real Canadians express themselves not by shooting schools or taking over campuses. They run ads on trucks like ours. It's called free speech. You can look it up in our Charter of Rights. I've been fighting against censorship my whole life. I'm not going to stop now. There's a crime wave in Toronto and across Canada, and it's not ads from scared citizens worried about Hamas gangs. It's the Hamas gangs themselves. I'm going to fight this like hell. You know I will. We're going to take the truck out again because I'm a free man in a free country, at least for now. I have broken no laws, and if the Toronto police think they can bully us into silence, we'll bring it on. I still believe enough in our country, and even in our courts, to know that this trumped-up censorship will not stand. If you want to help me, I need your help. I need your help to pay for our lawyer to fight this police investigation. If you want to help save me and save our truck, go to savethetruck.com. And at that same page, you can sign up for email updates so I can let you know what happens as this proceeds. I was born and raised in Canada, and so was my dad, and so was his dad, all the way back to 1903, before Alberta was even a province. This country is built on free speech. And I'll be damned if some Hamas thugs and their obedient shills in Trudeau's police force think they can scare me into silence. If you want to support me and I need your support, go to savethetruck.com. You won't just be saving a truck or even just saving me. You'll be saving freedom of speech in our great country. Go to savethetruck.com. Thanks.